Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss the four types of rotations in AVL tree. In the previous session, we have discussed the in the previous session we have discussed the introduction to AVL tree. Now we will discuss the four types of rotations in AVL tree. There are four types of rotations in AVL tree that already we know. Under single rotation, there are two types, single right rotation and single left rotation. Under double rotation, there are two types, double left right rotation and double right left rotation. The first rotation is OR rotation or single right rotation. Whenever you are inserting a new key into the left subtree, for example, here already two nodes are there, three and two, and one you are newly inserting as a left subtree of left child. In the sense, after insertion, if the root node is unbalanced in the sense, you have to implement a single right rotation. For example, here if you are considering when the node's value is 3, the balance factor is 0. When you are inserting a new node as a left child of left subtree, that is 2 in the sense. Now, if you are checking the balance factor, here balance factor is 0, 1 minus 0, here it is plus 1. So, now the tree is balanced only. Suppose Again, if we are inserting one more node as a left child of left subtree in the sense that is 1 9 inserting here. In this case, if you are checking the balance factor, here it is 0, here it is plus 1, here it is plus 2. Now the tree is unbalanced here. Okay. So in this case, whenever you are inserting a new node as a left subtree of left child, and before insertion, the root node balance is plus 1. After insertion, the root node balance is plus 2 now. Now it is unbalanced. So here, you need to implement a single right rotation. So if you are implementing a single right rotation, now the root node will become 2. 1 will be the left child of 2. 3 will be the right child of 2. Now if you are checking the balance factor, for all the node balance factor is 0. And if you are checking whether it is a binary search tree, yes it is a binary search tree. Because the left element is lesser than the root node and right element is greater than the root node. It satisfies the binary search tree property and also now the tree is balanced. This is called single right rotation. Here we have implemented a single right rotation. With that, the tree is converted into a balanced one. This is called single right rotation. Okay. And the general form if you are checking in the sense, here it is the root node. Okay. And here it is the child node with its left and right subtree and root node with its with its left and right node and the root node with its right node. Okay. So here if you are checking the balance factor, here the balance factor is 0, here also it is 0. For leaf nodes always the balance factor will be 0. And here if you are checking it is number of left subtree is 1, right subtree is 1, 1 minus 1 it is 0. And here if you are checking number of left subtree is 2, number of left subtree is 2. And the number of right subtree is 1, 2 minus 1, it is plus 1. So now if you are considering the tree is balanced only. Okay. Whenever you are inserting a new node as a left child of left subtree, if you are inserting a new node here as a left child of left subtree, now you check the balance factor. Here the balance factor is 0. Here the balance factor is plus 1. Here the balance factor is 0. Here balance factor is 1, 2. 2 minus 1, it is plus 1. And here the balance factor is 1, 2, 3. The height of the left subtree is 3. 3 minus 1, you will get it as plus 2. Now the root node is unbalanced here because of this new insertion. So in that case, what we have to do it in the sense, you have to implement a single right rotation here. So if you are implementing a single right rotation, now, the child node will become the root node and its left subtree, that is the left child tree will be as it is. And this right subtree during rotation, this right subtree will become the left child of this root node and this is the right child. So, R will come here, T2 will become the left subtree and T3 will become its right subtree. Okay, so whenever you are implementing a right rotation, pointing to the unbalanced node. Here, during its insertion only, here it is unbalanced, okay? So, if you are implementing a single right rotation here in the sense, this node will become the root node 
okay and left subtree will be as it is for child node and the right subtree if you are considering in this sense it will be attached as a left subtree of this root node and its right subtree as it is okay only change here is t2 will becomes the left subtree of root node or okay so now after implementing a single right rotation the tree will looks like this okay so this is single right rotation it's the second type of rotation as l rotation single left rotation or in short as l rotation so the single left rotation can be implemented after a new key is inserted into the right subtree of the right child okay before the balance factor is plus 1 if you are inserting a new key into the right subtree of right child in the sense now the tree becomes unbalanced okay so for example here if you are considering when the node is 1 balance factor is 0 and if you are inserting a right child 2 now the balance factor is here it is 0 here the balance factor is 0 minus 1 here you will get it as minus 1 okay now also the tree is balanced only whenever you are inserting one more node as a right child of right subtree okay now if you are checking the balance factor this is 0 and for this one it is 0 minus 1 here you will get it as minus 1 and here the balance factor is 0 minus 1 2 okay you will get it as minus 2 now the tree is unbalanced now here the tree is unbalanced so in avl tree whenever you are doing a new insertion that time if the tree is unbalanced in the sense you have to implement a rotation to convert it into a balanced one right here we are implementing a single left rotation pointing towards the new insertion where it gets unbalanced here it gets unbalanced the new insertion is this one okay so now you are implementing a single left rotation so when you are implementing a single left rotation now two becomes the root node one becomes the left child okay one becomes left child of two three becomes the right child of now the balance factor is 0 0 4 all the nodes okay now the tree is balanced one now the tree is a binary search tree and also it is a balanced one so now the tree is avl tree avl tree is nothing but balanced binary search tree this is called single left rotation here we have implemented a single time left rotation we have implemented now the tree is balanced one and the general form of you are considering here in the sense see here check the balance factor for this tree here leaf node balance factor is 0 here 1 minus 1 0 here 1 minus 2 number of nodes in the right side is 2 so 1 minus 2 you will get it as minus 1 now the tree is balanced one okay whenever you are inserting a new node at the right subtree as a right child so here you are inserting a new node after insertion check the balance factor so here the balance factor is 0 and here the balance factor is see here this is a right subtree you have to consider it like a right subtree here the balance factor is 0 minus 1 here you will get it as minus 1 and here the balance factor is 1 minus 2 here also it is minus 1 and here if you are checking it is 1 minus 1 2 3 3 here you will get it as minus 2 now the tree is unbalanced so here pointing towards the new insertion where it is unbalanced there you have to implement a single left rotation so if you are implementing a single left rotation now the tree will be converted into a balanced one so if you are implementing a left rotation here in the sense c will be the root node c will be the root node and r goes its right here if you are implementing a left rotation c will be the root node r goes towards its right and its left subtree as it is that is t1 it is as it is okay and here what is the left subtree of this c when you are implementing this rotation it will be attached as a right subtree of r okay now the right subtree of r will be t2 right and t3 and this node this subtree will be as it is that will be attached to this child node only now it is t3 and this new node now if you are checking the balance factor 
for all the leaf nodes, balance factor is 0. Here, 1 minus 1, 0. And here, it is, this is right subtree, okay? Consider, this is right, you are doing a right insertion only, okay? So, 1, 0 minus 1, here it is minus 1. And here, if you are considering 1, 2, minus 1, 2, here the balance factor is 3. Now, the tree is balanced, okay? So, whenever you are doing a single left rotation, C will become root node. R will be the left child of this C and T1 will be the left child of R and what is the left child of C will be attached as a right child of R and this subtree will be as it is that will be attached as the right subtree of C. Now after single left rotation this is the new tree and here all the nodes are balanced and this is also a binary search tree. So now the tree is balanced. Okay so this is called single left rotation. So, in this session, we have discussed the first two types of rotation in AVL tree. One is single right rotation and second one is single left rotation. Thank you for watching this video.